Hi, Gemini. It's your honest home girl, Keisha Neat, and this is your intuitive timeless reading. So when you see this reading, this reading is for you. Take what resonates, what doesn't, leave for another healing homie. I'm so through with people leaving comments about what's going on in their life and it had nothing to do with the reading. Well, then the reading ain't for you. Not to you, Gemini, because some of y'all are... You know what? Let me be nice. Mercury pre Mercury retrograde, you know, and my patience is running very thin. I'm gonna be nice. I'm gonna, I'm gonna talk nicely, okay? And for some of you, that's that that's what you're probably telling yourself, Gemini. You know, I'm gonna talk nicely. I'm gonna be all right. You know, I think I'm talking c clear enough, but for some reason, people ain't getting what you're saying. Remember, you know, it is Mercury ret uh, pre shadow Mercury retrograde, right? where, you know, communication can get mixed up, easily have misunderstandings, um, car repairs have to get done, um, delays in traffic, and a lot of lessons that you ain't learned, you're going to be relearning now. Um, it's kind of like a progress report when I think of Mercury Retrograde, um, and it's like spirit talking to you, you know, you're getting your progress report, anything that's coming up that your ass was supposed to fix, do whatever the case may be, reorganize, it's all coming back up. Okay. You open in the closet door and shit done bumped you in the head to remind you, you need to clean out this closet. Like, so I feel like that's what's really going on with you, Gemini. Um, and you're having to probably repeat yourself a lot at this time. So breathe before you respond, because being like me, I might say something crazy and and then be, re I ain't regretting it later because you made me feel the way that I felt for me to talk that way. And that's probably how y'all are like, nah, y'all sat there and made me feel the way that I feel for me to talk to you that way. So fuck it. And that's probably the energy that you got right now. But that may be something you need to learn to that. You know, you can't just say fuck it to just anybody and everything because sometimes when you talk that way to certain people, it could cause blockages in your life because you never know if you're talking to an earth angel, somebody that could have helped you out. You just never know who you're talking to sometimes. Uh, if you are feeling stuck and stagnant and things are not going for you, try to utilize music to help you um, push forward. Listen to music that's going to motivate you to get out there, do better, want more. Um, be mindful of the music that you do listen to as well, because sometimes um, when you listen, it, see me, I pray before I listen to music so that whatever negative attachments or entities, deities, demons, whatever they got attached to that music that could lower my frequency, I pray before I listen to music so it doesn't affect me. So even if I listen to trap music, it's not going to sit there and have me thinking, oh, I need to go out there and be a trap star, you know, or a dope boy or anything like that. No, but what it will do is give me the motivation to go out there and get it the right way. And that may be a message for somebody because I do see a lot of you guys either going back to school and learning a new skill. Someone's teaching you something. You may have a teacher with gray hair, with glasses, but she still looks really, really young for her age. Um, for some of you, you could be in art class or going to taking an art class for college. Some of you are actually the actual model for the class, or you may be modeling in some way, shape or form, or you may be somebody's muse, or they could be telling you that you are their muse. You're the reason why they do what they do. I do see a new beginning here. Some of y'all may be having sex for the first time with somebody. Um, doesn't mean that you haven't had sex already, but I feel like th with this person, this may be the first time in a very long time. Um, for others of you, you could be starting new projects at this time. I do feel that, you know, you're with this new beginning, for those that are having this new beginning, um, you're really excited about it. You're really passionate about it. So continue to go out there and get it. Uh, Spirit wants to remind you, you do not need to put the whole world on your entire shoulders. Stop making other people problems, your problems. Um, because I do feel like you, you carry a lot of burdens and a lot of those burdens may not even be yours. Okay. Um, but I see you pushing through it anyway. You're going to make it to the end. Some of you, you got, you got that type of sex that is like a spell. Okay, your sex is like a, a real spell, for real, for real. Like when people go and they pay their admission, whatever it takes for them to get it to ride that water park ride, um, it's like they're hooked right away. Um, you may even be telling these people, like, you know, once you get some of this, that's it. You ain't going to want to go nowhere else. And then for some of you, you sat there and experienced this, and it's like, 
you don't understand why you keep thinking about it, why you keep remembering the situation. Like, if you've already had sex with somebody and it's like, oh, my God, like, type of energy. For some of you guys, you may, uh, I see some lesbians here having a threesome. Y'all could be excited about that. That may be something that you're trying to do for the first time as well. For others of you, if you're looking to seek some type of counsel, some type of guidance, there is someone around that you know that you can call on that is more than willing to help you. So don't be afraid to contact them because they will be there to help you. And for most of you guys right now, the best thing I would say for you to do is meditate, ground yourself, do a lot of grounding exercises, uh, kind of stay to yourself, say little as possible. Unless it's something necessary, then don't say nothing at all, honestly. And, um, you know, don't listen to your ego, okay? Don't listen to your ego. Allow that to uh, go on about its business because I feel like your ego is really talking real loud right now. And you need to listen to that inner voice, that quiet voice. Throw out all the lies that your ego is telling you to believe and things of that nature. Don't do it, okay? Um, and, and be patient with yourself. Be kind to yourself. Again, if you don't feel like being around people right now, you may want to go into hermit mode until the end of Mercury retrograde, you know, and just really focus on what you need to focus on when it comes to you and your business and your dreams and your goals. But if that reading res if that reading resonated with you, because that kind of was like a mini intuitive message for you guys, um, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. It really helps my channel grow. I really appreciate it. Um you guys are my family, Healing Homie. So if you're new to this channel, hey, welcome. If you're a returning Healing Homie, what's up, gang? How are you? How I do my readings, I do your intuitive message first, then I get into the Divine Feminine, then the Divine Masculine, and then your random messages, which also include messages from your person. So if you want to get the tea, you want to be nosy on what's going on with them, you know, stay tuned to the very end. And with that said, I am only taking returning clients during Mercury Retrograde. If you're a new client, you're going to have to wait till October 10th. All the information is in the description box below. If you don't want to wait for a reading, you know, I do offer live readings for my healing homies on Instagram at The Honest Homegirl. And I also do Zodiac Horoscopes and Daily Root Awakenings over there as well. Um, with that said, let's get into your reading, okay? The real reading. <laughs> I do feel like a lot of my, my Geminis, though, you guys are trying to keep yourselves happy, keep yourselves afloat. Um, I'm hearing a rat race. So when I think a rat race, I think of Manhattan. So some of you guys may live in Manhattan, maybe returning to Manhattan, having to just be part of the rat race for some reason, shape, or form. But it's like you love that type of energy because it keeps you excited. It keeps you going. Um, it's like it stimulates all your senses. That's why you love New York so much. But sometimes I do feel like you need a break. But when it comes to your emotions right now, family is heavily on your mind, okay? That means your children, your household, your, your extended family, which would be your mom, your dad, your brothers, your aunts, your uncles. They may be on your mind at this time. Um, for some of you, there may be a third party trying to meddle in your relationship, especially if you're like in a long-term commitment or you are um, married. For some of you, this person could be an Aquarius. For others of you, you may have brought a third party into your family, into your relationship, and you're healing from this situation now. For some of you, you're actually getting a polygamous relationship that you wanted. Some, yo, some of y'all really sat there and finessed the person into thinking polygamous relationships were okay. Like, some of y'all really just had to gift the gab or somebody gift the gab your ass and have you in a polygamous relationship and somebody's getting their wishes granted with this. Again, some of you, you may be in a committed relationship where you and your partner both was like, oh, okay, we're going to try a threesome or whatever the case may be. And that's something somebody's wishes being granted, okay, at this time. Um, I do feel, too, you are, some of you are healing from a third-party situation, okay? 
Like there's some type of blockages when it comes to family as well. That may have caused a lot of blockages in your family. Um, you bringing in a third party, it definitely messed up the money flow. It messed up the family dynamic because I do see some of you, this third party coming to an end. You wised up and realized that that has to come to an end because it caused nothing but blockages in your life. Especially if it, you wasn't getting the consent from your partner to have that third party. Of course, that's your karma. Your money going to be blocked. Your emotions and everything is going to be blocked. Nothing's going to go right for you. It's going to cause nothing but conflict in your life, stagnation in your life. You're realizing that now, that when you sit there and do those type of things, if you don't get your, if say you're in a relationship with somebody and you don't get the consent to sit there and be with somebody else, you're literally going behind that person's back. And guess what? Karma will come for you. It will mess with your health. It will mess with your money. It will mess with your energetic field because now you've got a whole bunch of energies that did not want this intertwining with one another. See, it only works out for you when, when it, there's consent. That's when things don't get blocked because you're sitting here communicating to each other like, this is what I want, and they're consenting to it, saying, yes, it's okay. I'm pretty sure Denzel Washington and his wife got some arrangements where he sit there, got him a little young chick, but she's like... That's the only one, you feel me, type of thing. And there ain't going to be certain things. Like, I'm thinking of P-Valley right now when the husband and the wife, they sat there and made Mercedes sign those contracts. It was still consensual, okay? And everybody won in the situation until the end. And, I mean, the man got in his ego and realized that his, his wife liked women more than he did. Uh, and, and that'll be something, too. The wife really probably didn't want that to happen. But guess what happened? It backfired on him. It shown up did. Somebody about to steal your girl. <laughs> Sis about to steal your girl. <laughs> and if you're doing this with two men, homie about to steal your man. Excuse me for the slurping with my tea. Y'all be careful with that. Y'all might get y'all wish, but <laughs> it may cause some conflicts and some fighting and some arguing and some disagreements in the end. So you better be in it to win it. Because that's what you want to do. I'm telling you right now, it's going to get messy. But I do feel, too, like you're. if you were doing something that you know you wasn't supposed to do, I really feel like you're wising up and you're going to do the right thing and you're going to stand in your power and you're going to take the leap of faith. You may eat. Yo, some of y'all is bold enough right now to tell the truth. And you know what's about the shit about to hit the fan, Okay. You about to tell the truth, and, and this song, You, I haven't heard this song in a very long time by Nicole Buss. This is my song right here. Some of y'all, y'all like, I'm going to give it to my baby because they, they, they do me right. But just make sure that's what you, you want to do, and you're okay with what comes with that. Y'all better have some plan Bs ahead of time type thing. Either way, some of y'all take a leap of faith and y'all gonna sit there and, and really tell the truth. And it may cause some stagnations. It may put your relationship on a hold, but at least you spoke your truth. You repented, you know, it is what it is. Um, some people don't tell the truth. So respect somebody when they tell you the truth. I honestly rather the, the truth than a lie. Because once I see hear that you lied to me, find out that you lied to me, you're always a liar. It's just that simple. You're always going to be a liar in my eyes. I'm like, mm-hmm. <laughs> mm-hmm. Sure. You, somebody could be doing that to you or you could be doing that to somebody. But I do feel, too, it's like a lot of you guys, it's like things are coming your way and you're trying to stand strong. But it's like, you know, it's slowly coming. And the thing is, there may be some lessons that you need to be reminded of before you get what it is that you want. Um, because it's like spirit wants to give it to you when you're completely ready for it. But others of you, I really feel like, you know, um, something may have stopped. Something, you know, it's like a push-pull energy when it comes to a family dynamic. And it's like... Um, it's like one minute things are good, one minute things are bad. One minute things are looking good, one minute things are looking bad. And it's like you have to really keep your faith at this time for some of you. Um, keep your prayers up, all right, for you and your family. Um, there's something that you're willing to try. 
Because I do see somebody trying to stop something. But to try something new to prevent something from happening to a family member. I don't know if you guys are going the holistic route or what you're trying to do. But I do feel that um, it's like it. It's like there's the potential for this new thing to work out, okay? Um, I don't know why I'm getting results that may stop that from happening, though. Be mindful of that. I do feel, too, like something, something happened because of karma. There was some, there's some type of karma, that somebody had to deal with. Because I do see here, honestly, whether you're male or female, this has a lot to do with your emotions. A lot of you may have had third parties because you were very insecure with yourself and you always needed a backup plan. That's coming to an end. You're realizing that about yourself. For others of you, you know, you're realizing that you really have to step up, step up your game, be your best self, show up as your higher self, even if you don't see you as your higher self yet. For others of you, you're allowing, you know, conflicts and arguments and things like that to end at this time. You're letting bygones be bygones. You're realizing why certain blockages is happening in your life at this time. Like, I really feel... I don't want to say this. I don't want to say this, but... You guys may lose somebody in your family, and it's going to have you stuck for a long time. This may happen in nine days, nine weeks, nine months, and you not, you're not going to be yourself. You're not. It, it, it's, not it's one of them family members that's real close to you. Because I just feel like I, have, I feel numbness, and I just feel like a knot in my chest, a knot in my stomach. Like sick, like sick to my stomach. Or for some of you guys, this may also be an end to something in the family. And it's going to kind of... Maybe for some of you, it could be generational curses that's coming to an end, but it's kind of like... The growth of the family is like on pause because maybe everybody at this time is healing from something. Maybe some of you guys ended up, your whole family had COVID or something. I don't, I hope that's the case and y'all all, you know, got over it type of thing, but it kept the household on pause. Everybody was in a bed. Nobody was moving around type of thing. But then y'all finally got over it and y'all look good now. I'd rather put that energy out there than for somebody to lose a close family member. Some of you, um, you, it's like there's some type of opportunity that came to you that you attracted and maybe I'm getting to like, maybe it was like a temporary like contract, like an independent contracting type of job almost. And that may be coming to an end at this time. But I do see like a new opportun opportunity happening for you once this one ends, a new one begins. So don't worry about that. Let's look at the Divine Masculine energy for you. I did not realize how long I've been on your reading already. Gemini. All right, Divine Masculine. So a lot of you guys are definitely going through a change, a transformation. Things may be happening in the home, changing in the home, especially when it comes to your emotions and your finances. I do see a good transformation, a change when it pertains to love for some of you guys. All right. Yeah, see, family is the center of your attention at this time. You're very emotional about your family. You're taking, you're being really proactive when it comes to your family, the people that you love, the people that you care about. 
Um, I'm hearing too, I don't mind spending the money. I don't care how much it costs. So maybe somebody that you love and care about in your family needs money and you're willing to give it to them. Um, what is this? Okay, so yeah, and the blockages are reversed. So remember in the, you may have been in your feelings causing these blockages, okay? Um, because somebody in your family's not happy at this time, okay? Someone's not happy right now at this time. There's some type of delays. Like, I feel like you have to change your thinking for the better if you want better results. Because having negative thinking um, and a negative mindset set and a lack of confidence in things when it comes to family. Because I feel like you could be really sad about a family member right now. They could be sick at this time. And it's like, you you have to change your thoughts. You have to breathe life into this person. You have to speak life into this person. Even though it may be like a sad situation, you want the best. Because even if they do have to transcend over to the spiritual realms, you want them to sit there and be confident enough to know that you'll be okay. Because this person may be more worried about you than you worried about them. Yeah, there's a lot of pain, a lot of frustrations, a lot of agony right now. It's like, even though you may have the money to do something, it's still like a stressful situation, but I see a positive outcome here. And it's like, I see somebody doing research, okay? Somebody could be praying to their ancestors. They could be at their altar right now, looking for guidance, looking for strength, looking for a message, a sign, especially if you're dealing with a lot of mental, emotional stress right now. I see a positive outcome though. There's something that needs to be done. Something, you got to remember, look at the fine print. Read the fine print. Don't miss, it's like you're missing something. And it's like, as soon as you get that missing piece, everything is a go. You heard it say, stay woke. So you need to wake up and realize that you can change things. You have the, the, the power to change things. You have the power to manipulate energy. You you're caught up in your head right now because you're hurt right now, okay? And I'm going to change this energy to where the sun, everything is happy, everything is a success. You're getting out of your head. You're coming up with these bright ideas on how to, is the solutions, okay? See, your emotions right now is getting in the way of you creating solutions for yourself. And a lot of a thing is, you know, you can't tell nobody how to feel when it comes to a close, loving family member. Because I know, God forbid, something happened to like my dad or or my or, or my grandfather or somebody that I truly care about and love. Like I'm, what? I don't want to hear nothing. But it's like spirit is trying to get you before you go into the deep end. Spirit wants you to wake up and snap out of it before you go too far into the deep end of worrying and having stress and stuff because. If you go that far, if you start thinking that long, this positive outcome may end up being something that could have been completed, but it wasn't. Could have been fixed, but it didn't because you're you're too caught up. So don't get caught up, okay? Love is what's going to unlock, unblock certain things in your family life. Love, okay? Love conquers all. Like in this situation, love conquers all. And you have to know that, believe that, and feel that. And even if you do lose somebody, God forbid, I'm knocking on real wood for you. This person is going to always be there for you. And if this has already happened and you're just reminiscing because it may be their birthday, okay, or oh, the anniversary of their death is coming up. And it, it's changed your family dynamic. And I don't think for the better. But it's like this person, they want you to know that they, it's like they're sending a message through me to let you know, like, they need you to step up to the plate. They need you to to heal. They need you to see the the goodness and in, in what's to come for your family it's like you're like the only person that could get the family back on track some of you are literally the chosen ones to sit there and and bring the family together 
you're the star in this family that's going to bring money. Like, you're going to be the one to bring money into your family. Like, you'll be the first millionaire. You'll be the first person to sit there and do something. Like, achieve something. Get a, a degree or whatever the case may be. But I feel like some type of... I'm hearing insurance policy. So, yeah. And it's like the money's there, but you don't care about that money. And it's like, I do see large lump sums of money, but it cost you somebody. It cost you somebody. And that's probably why you're stuck in your head about this. I don't know why I'm hearing you didn't think it was really real. I, I, mm -mm, I ain't going in there. I'm not going that deep. I'm not going that far. Gemini, I send you guys nothing but healing and high vibrations at this time. Remember, love conquers all. Let's get into what your person is thinking right now, what they're doing. Riding with music was at the um, bottom that came out. It says, can't stop thinking about you. I'm putting in work. I know I acted like a fool. Let me, you let me hit and I let you down. Dealt with you the nicest. But let's get the ones that are supposed to be for you. That could be for just one particular person. Again, take it how it resonates because you may want to say this to somebody. I'm a star. Like I said, some of you may be stars. You may be dealing with a star. This person could be a player or you in their feelings and we have the ops right here so some of you guys you got somebody spying on you you guys need to take a couple days off or they do so please be mindful of that somebody's watching you and we have ready set go now is the perfect moment to dive into dive in and embrace your heart's desires and we have set your sights higher increase your standards standards and expect more for yourself don't settle okay for some of you this just have may, may have been just a, into um a family situation where like you guys were together you're not together anymore um you guys were married and now you're divorced type of energy it doesn't always have to necessarily be a death but i feel like somebody's gonna get a big payout somebody may get alimony I'm hearing a nice, pretty penny for, for some alimony. If that's the end in the family, okay? If not, it's definitely an inheritance that you weren't expecting. We have connection. Everyone's a teacher and impairments. It says, everyone I cross path with, paths with is a teacher in that moment. The ones who give me the fun lessons are the ones I call friends. Those who give me the hard lessons sometimes... I call a-holes. They've chosen a tough job, but someone's got to do it. So today I'm thanking all the a-holes. Thank you, a-holes, for pl uh, playing your part and making me a better person. It says, life is always changing and I drift easily through the changes, good and bad. As I drift through the hard times, I can take comfort in knowing that I will leave them behind. As I drift away from the good times, I can take comfort in knowing that more will come my way. Impairments is an equal opportunity, non-entity. So it's more so of just telling you to ride the wave because good times don't last forever. Bad times don't last forever. And it's like only thing that's constant is change. And we have connection. I'm connected to the multitudes. I can access their support at any time. Even a stranger offers a sense of comfort when they smile at me or make a dumb comment about the weather. Everyone is waiting to connect. All I need to do is open myself up and pay attention. So a lot of you guys, you know, connect with other people because um, you'd be surprised how many people are going through the same things you're going through or went through what you went through or what you're about to go through. And, you know, connecting with others to know that you're not alone in a situation will make you do, it will make you feel better because a lot of times we feel like we go through these storms and these troubles and these dark times by ourselves thinking nobody else is going through them and we all do. And we have forgiveness at the bottom of the deck. So forgive yourself, forgive others, forgive the situation and know that again, love conquers all. Gemini, let's get some homegirl advice for you guys. Homegirl advice. 
we have meditate to clear the clutter we spoke about that in your intuitive message so that's the second confirmation that you need to go meditate a month from now okay because something may happen a month from now and by you doing grounding exercises now will help you cope and deal with things a lot better it says you met your match you don't like it lol they are mirroring you so for those you may have found someone that's just like you we have take it easy spirit animals are trying to talk to you at this time and we have you are more intuitive than you think get a personal reading okay and it says say it i can and i will so gemini keep your head up you got this in the bag i love you guys and i'll talk to you later bye